So the first one I want to talk about is one that has to do with autonomy versus beneficence. So I'm going to read you guys a scenario. The scenario goes, a pregnant patient with a life-threatening medical condition insists on continuing with a treatment that poses serious risks to her and her unborn child. The medical team believes that the treatment should be postponed until after childbirth to maximize chances of survival for both. But the patient is adamant about proceeding with the treatment. How can the nurse respect the patient's autonomy while also ensuring the best outcome for both the patient and her baby? So this one's a little bit tricky because this one has to deal with the mother's health versus the unborn baby's health versus their combined health. So in this scenario, it seems like the mother wants to continue the treatment that she has been on or is new to, to maybe better her life or increase her chance of survival. Maybe she's battling some kind of a cancer. Scenario doesn't specify, but this treatment is going to help the mom, but not necessarily help the baby. It could harm the baby because we know when you have an unborn child, when you're pregnant, lots of medications are very dangerous. Even some common medications like Tylenol, aspirin, those are some common over-the-counter medications that we normally take. Those can pose a risk on an unborn child because they're not fully developed. They don't have a, they don't have fully functioning organs that can filter the blood, all that kind of stuff, and they rely on the mom and any kind of change any kind of additives, any differentiation from the homeostasis and environment of the fetus and what the newborn likes, that's going to always cause some some issues. This one's a little tricky. So personally, I would go for trying to have the baby be as healthy as possible. So this one's really, really tough because the treatment might hurt the baby and it might help the mom or it might help the mom and then maybe not do much to the baby. This, I'd probably go more on statistics that let's just say the mom really needs this treatment to help her, let's just say, survive because ultimately if you help her survive, you're increasing the likelihood of the baby also surviving but then there's also scenarios of uh, where you're helping the mom survive but then you're poisoning the fetus so i'd have to know a little bit more about this but ultimately i would always go towards whatever preserves the preserves the newborn or the soon to be born child's life so for me this decision i would maybe try to focus on the baby and try to get that outcome to be as ideal as possible, especially if you could hold off the treatment for the mom for a few trimesters, a few months, maybe a year. If it's life-saving treatment, obviously I'd have to go with saving the mom's life because if you don't save the mom's life, you're most likely not going to save the, the baby's life, right? Unless it's like a trauma incident where the mom is hemorrhaging and we have to get the baby out and it's like one of those where if we don't take out the baby, then they're both going, going to die. Those kind of situations, are a little bit more more urgent, but this one is more like ethical thing where the mom is seeking treatment, but that treatment could also harm the baby a little bit. So in my opinion, I would try to see if this treatment can be held off for a little bit of time till after birth, and then once the baby is born, then we can maybe start the medication a, a week after that. So that's my opinion is hold out the treatment if possible, or if the treatment doesn't pose a big risk to the unborn baby, then I would say go ahead with the treatment.